Our right, viewers, and here we are then with the first of our content from the EGX show, checking out all the key racing titles. And we're kicking off with Gravity Chase. I caught up with the game designer Andrew to find out more. Hi, I'm Andrew. I'm a developer and founder of Repixelate Games. And uh, we brought today Gravity Chase, our latest anti gravity racer, um, to EGX for people to try out. So Gravity Chase is a sequel to Velocity G, a game we put out earlier this year on Xbox and Steam, anti-gravity futuristic racer. Um, this is more of an evolution of that, so um, we've taken the core concept that everyone loved, it's a kind of 360 degree tunnel mechanic, which has not really been done in any of our games similar to this. It was inspired by a game called Tube Slider, it came out on the uh, GameCube and in North America that had the whole tunnel racing thing going on. Um, but there hasn't been enough games since that I know of, so we decided to, to recreate that kind of mechanic um, in Velocity G. Velocity G was more of a uh, cell shaded cartoony arcade racer. Um, we've listened to people's feedback on that and um, come up with Gravity Chase, which is essentially a sequel to Velocity G. It contains a lot of the, the features from the original, but improved visuals, so we've dropped the cartoon cell shaded look, gone for a more realistic, um, realistic look and feel, new tracks, new game modes, so we're going to have several game modes, as, as well as the uh, standard Grand Prix racing, we have Time Attack, which is more of an arcade checkpoint style um, game mode, we have Takedown, which um, makes use of weapons, so weapons are a new thing we've introduced into Gravity Chase which you can pick up and use along the race. Uh, we've also introduced 10 new ships, each will be customizable with different attributes. Uh, components can be interchanged between ships. So yeah, Gravity Chase uh, is currently in active development. We're hoping for release early next year, initially on Steam and Xbox One, and other consoles coming later. So Gravity Chase then, looking pretty cool. You know, Andrew very passionate obviously about the project and developing it, bringing it to being as good as it can potentially be. There's still a lot of work to do. This was a very early version of the game uh, and certainly at the moment still a very much an early work in progress in bringing all the parts together. However, uh, single player or split screen multiplayer mode is in there supporting up to uh, four player split screen, which is nice. Bringing back the split screen vibe. Uh, it is nice to see more games looking at this now. It's been a while and I, I, you know, I hope that as technology improves we can get back to that because though it's great to have the online experience, it's always good to have that sort of multiplayer setting as long as you can see what you're doing. And I know with fast games like this it can be quite challenging because you need a high level of detail uh, and the detail loss and frame rate loss can sometimes alter things. Uh, 12 tracks at launch, each with multiple variants, so a reasonable amount of tracks doesn't necessarily confirm if they're all different in different locations. Uh, 10 customizable and upgradable racers along several speed classes. Uh, and of course it uses unique 360 degree tunnel racing mechanic. It's unique, but it's also, obviously it's got a lot, lot of vibes with the other games mentioned in there. I, I think very much of F-Zero, uh, especially looking at this circuit, it gives you that F-Zero vibe, uh, lightning track vibe and the port town vibe as well on the other circuit that was shown and of course there's multiple game modes in there Grand Prix, Time Attack, Survival, Endurance, Takedown. Uh, there's 4K 60 frames per second on if you've got a super powerful PC and various weapon systems including lasers, cannons and mines uh, but again still work required on that to make them uh, work is sound and look and fit in with the environment uh, there is still things to do. But either way, from an indie game development point of view, Andrew's doing a cracking job. I believe there's only two to three of them working on this game. It's a very small team, probably other people outsourcing as well. Uh, still a lot to do, but I wish him well on that. And uh, that's it for this video looking at Gravity Chase. There'll be a lot more from me at the show uh, and looking at all the other key racing titles as well. But as ever, more soon. Thanks for watching today viewers, I hope you enjoyed the video and do like and subscribe, it supports what we do. You can go to the website directly above me here or check out a couple of other videos on the channel, perhaps things you're interested in in terms of racing games, whether it be new or retro, it's all there, check them out.